I did get arrested once many years ago. I got taken down to the station, mugshot, handcuffed, whole deal. I've actually never seen the mugshot though. I've kind of wondered what it looks like. I've thought about making a video where I track down the mugshot, but I don't know. Well, leave, leave a comment if you want to see me make a video where I track down my old mugshot. Mugshot. Especially you know if it was yeah, yeah, mug 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 shot. Yes to the mugshot. 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 So here's what happened. When I was in college, I was walking down the street with a solo cup full of beer. Why was I doing this? I don't know, but it seemed like a good idea at the time. Then from behind me, I hear someone shout, hey, stop right there. I turn around and there's two police officers hopping out of a cop car. I tossed a cup of beer on the ground when I saw the cops, but it was too late. They promptly handcuffed me, put me in the back of the car and brought me down to the station. Hi, uh, I have a uh, sort of odd request. Um, I was arrested by RUPD many years ago. I was wondering if it would be possible to get a copy of my mugshot. No. No? That's not really cool. Okay. But you can't even release the, the picture to the person themselves? No. Oh, okay. Get a copy of the report. Okay, but not the, the picture. Correct. Um, okay. Okay. Alright, thank you. Alright, bye. Okay, they say it's unreleasable. I don't know if I entirely believe them, so I'm gonna look into this a little bit further. I didn't talk to the cops. When they asked me questions, I just pretended I didn't speak English. I mean, you have the right to remain silent, right? And I took that right. But even though staying silent is your right, not answering their questions annoys them. And so I got on their bad side right away. I got arrested with a friend of mine, and when he was getting his mugshot taken, they uncuffed him so he could hold a plate of numbers in front of him. But I was the troublemaker who wouldn't answer their questions, so when they did my mugshot, they wouldn't uncuff me. They actually just hung the plate of numbers around my neck. All right, I'm back at the scene of the crime, New Brunswick, New Jersey, and Rutgers University. It's raining like hell and it's cold as a bastard, but I'm gonna go into the police station and ask them in person whether or not I can get my mug shot. Now, originally I was gonna wear my trusty hidden camera glasses, but I, I don't really wanna razz the police officers any more than I already have. So instead, I'm just gonna leave the camera running while it's in my bag, so you'll be able to hear the entire conversation we have. Well, that did not work even a little bit. The records people are not into the new year, so it looks like I'm gonna to have to keep trying to do this from the other side of the country. Now, it should be noted that I got arrested by Rutgers University Police. A lot of schools have like campus safety people that aren't real cops, not Rutgers. Rutgers has an actual police force with real cops, and busting underage drinkers is like half of what they do, so they threw the book at me. If New Brunswick police had busted me, it's possible they would have been more lenient, because New Brunswick's kind of a ghetto, and those police have actual real problems to deal with. A 19-year-old drinking a beer ain't exactly moving the needle for them. But as it happened, I got busted by Rutgers police, so they nailed my ass to the wall. So, things have taken a somewhat peculiar turn. See, I did some legal research and I found that New Jersey doesn't have a law that specifies whether mugshots are available to the public or not. Instead, they leave that up to the individual agencies, and RUPD and their infinite wisdom have decided not to make them available to the public. But, and here's where things get interesting, there's currently legislation in the New Jersey State Assembly that would change this and make all mugshots publicly available. So that's exciting. But it also means that this search is taking me someplace I did not expect it to go. Lobbying politicians to enact legislation that's favorable to me. But I mean, come on, how hard can it be? I can do that, right? All right, whose ass do I gotta kiss here? Ronald S. Dancer? What? Is that real? That sounds like a made up name. Ah, whatever. Dear Ronnie, please enact Bill A2835. I'm trying to get my personal mugshot from back in the day, but RUPD is giving me the business about it and won't give it to me. Okay, thanks, bye, George. All right, dancer, show me what you got. In the end, I got tickets for underage drinking, open container, and here's the real kicker, littering. Because when I saw the cops, I dropped the cup of beer on the ground. They gave me a littering ticket for that. I mean, come on, really? I, I'm still annoyed by it, honestly. But it all worked out in the end, or, you know, as well as it could. I mean, I didn't go to jail, so that's a plus. 
So I have some bad news. That mugshot legislation is not going anywhere. It hasn't even made it to committee yet. So Ronald S. Dancer and the New Jersey State Assembly have failed me once again. And you know, I've been at this for a few months now, and unfortunately, I think the time has come to give up. Um, are you really not gonna show us your mugshot after we've sat through all that? Nope, just calm down, internet troll. I wouldn't do that to you. Unsubscribe. No, don't unsubscribe, just listen. I may not be able to get my mugshot from back in the day, but I'm gonna do the next best thing. I'm meeting up with a photographer friend of mine, and we're gonna recreate a drunken, disheveled mugshot for you.